Oh, yeah. And now, our feature presentation. Then, the Quran calls it a life of sport and play. And what this means is that during this period of Satan's rule, the human being would never reach his or her full potential. Because the life of the world in which you live is not designed to bring you to your full potential. It is designed to keep you on a certain level where you can never deal with the ruler of this world. You will always be under his power. The moment you start coming to that which will free you and bring you to your full potential, Satan's power over you has been diminished. Mm -hmm. Now, sport and play. That's what the world is like. This is why right now, it's playoff time in basketball and in hockey and, and I guess getting ready for other sport. One season of sport ends, another season of sport begins to keep your mind. Always focus on something that don't give nothing to you. Now, I love basketball. I love track and football and boxing and all of that. And when I sit down and watch a good fight, you know, I really like Tiger Woods. I mean, uh, not Tiger, excuse me, I like him too. But I really like Felix Trinidad and the way Felix took care of business. Now wait, now wait, I got joy out of that, you know what I mean? But I didn't get nothing else. After the fight was over, Felix went back to Puerto Rico, happy, a champion. I went back to the problem that I had before the fight came on. And, and you went back to whatever problem you're dealing with, the fight didn't help you solve your problem. The fight did not make you a better person. The fight did not give you more knowledge and understanding of life. It just gave us a little temporary relief from the problem to watch somebody beat up somebody. Now, sisters, you're not interested in that. But you may have been interested in one life to live or, you know, uh, as the world turns. Or you may have been interested in what went on in the soaps and you sitting there glued to the TV. Rent not paid, house not clean, you know. And after you turn it off and know what happened to Susie May or Susie Q, or Jim Dandy, you turn the TV off, you say, well, oh, isn't that something you call your friend? Child, did you see the way the, the thing ended today? But what did it put in your pocket? What did it put in your head? What did it do to relieve you of the condition that 400 years of injustice and slavery and inhumanity have put us in? It didn't do nothing for you. So the world, like right now, you know, L.A. Lakers played last night, and the real game to watch was L.A. and the Spurs, and, and those of you who are into basketball, you know, I sat too. And I watched part of the game. When the game was over, I didn't have one nickel more than I had when the game started. 
I didn't have one more ayat of verse of scripture or knowledge. It did nothing for me but relieve me of serious thought for a moment. So the world in which we live is a world that keeps you revolving in that which is meaningless for your life. It's a world of sport and play. Now sisters, you may have said you didn't look at the soap, but you're involved in stupidity too. Excuse me. Ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. You went downtown shopping. And don't you love to go in the mall and look at what you can't buy? Sometimes you spend hours just going looking, trying on something. Ain't got no money. But what did you get out of that? <laughs> Nothing. Then you end up buying something. That's the style of a degenerate. I'm not mocking, but you're wearing heels too high. And they're disturbing your health, but you don't know that yet. You're wearing clothes too short. <laughs> what kind of world is this? Why would a grandmother want to wear some mini something? Why, Grandma? Come on now. No, no, wait, I'm not trying to be smart. I'm not trying to be funny. But why would you dress like that? See, it's a world of sport. You're trying to catch somebody. See, it's fishing. I I'm fishing for a man, so I got to dress a certain way. So the adornments that God has given me for my husband, I can't wait to show it off. See, it's sport. I go to the disco for what? What you go there for? But I go to dance. But dance for what? What is your motive? What are you doing it for? You're doing it for what? Look at yourself. Look into yourself. This is why Satan's world have reduced humanity to a joke. And that's why the rulers of the world can rule and give you injustice after injustice and you have no power to stop them because your minds are not focused on what it should be focused on. Our minds are focused on sport, on play, on getting a woman, trapping a man, trapping a woman, getting high, partying, going to a dance, getting drunk, acting a fool, and then talking about what a good time you had last night. That's your life. Brothers, sisters, the Satan is happy. He makes the liquor, you drink it. He finds a purpose for the weed, you smoke it. This dude is so pleased to create disease. And then the drug manufacturers discover a pill for the disease of times that they create. So now when we get up in age, we how did I say that? <laughs> when we get up in age, you go into bed and waking up with a pill. You got a box of pills by your bedside. I got to take this one. I got to take that one. I got to take this one and that one. In order to do what? In order to function. In a world 
of sport and play to prolong a life that hardly has any meaning. When they come with natural remedies for some of these illnesses, the drug companies go to the government and they will outlaw a natural remedy so that the drug company can make money from our illness. Just look at the world in which you live. We live. They know you and I are going to have sex. 